Hi, kindergartners. We just read this story, A Little Spot Learns Online. And in the story, Little Spot had his very own quiet zone, his workspace. And that is something that is really important as we start kindergarten online that we need to get set up in our homes. Take a look again at Little Spot's quiet space. He has this big yellow sign that says quiet zone. Today, we're going to make a sign just like this that you can hang up in your workspace. So friends, what I need you to do is get into your school supply bag and find the bag that says first week. It looks like this. In the first week bag, you're going to want to find the paper that says quiet zone and the yellow paper that should be right behind it. It might be in the front of your bag. It might be more towards the back. Go ahead and get that out of your bag that we gave you for school supplies. All right. This is the paper that we are going to use to make our very own quiet zone sign. I'm so excited. So this big line right here says... It's a blank line, and that is for you to write your name. So you're going to also need some of your other school supplies for this. I have a box of school supplies here with my markers, my crayons, a glue stick, and scissors. So those are all the things you're going to need. Something to decorate with, like crayons or markers. You're going to need your scissors, and you're going to need a glue stick for this project. So you're gonna to want to choose a marker, something to write with, and write your name on this line. My name is Miss Mooney, so I'm going to write Miss Mooney. M I S S M O O N E Y. Make sure that you write your name on that line. Now it says Miss Mooney's Quiet Zone. Next, I'm gonna decorate around this diamond however I would like. You could use stickers. If you have glitter at home, you could use that. You can just use your crayons or markers if you wanna paint it, however you wanna decorate it. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I have a big orange cat at my house, and I really like cats, so I'm going to draw a picture of my cat on here, just because it's something I like. Maybe you'll want to draw something you like on your quiet zone sign. Be creative. You can make it however you want it to look. I'm going to go ahead and keep going on this, friends. Next, I think I'll do, ooh, does anybody like rainbows? I like rainbows. I think I'll draw a rainbow up here. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Purple's my favorite color. Since purple is my favorite color, maybe I'll draw a purple heart right here. I could draw a picture of my family on here. I could draw a picture of me. I have an idea. Since this is my quiet zone, I think I'm going to draw a picture of me up here. And I'm going to be saying, shh. I'm going to draw a little speech bubble and write, shh. Let me draw my hair. And I think I'll give myself a red dress. This is your quiet zone. You can be creative and make it look however you would like. You can do the background. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get started cutting mine out. So I'm gonna get my scissors and I want to cut just along the diamond. Make sure your thumb is in the top part of your scissors. Just go ahead and cut along the diamond. I turn the paper when I'm cutting, not my hand. My hand always stays straight. I'm trying my very best to cut right along the lines. In kindergarten, we're gonna get lots of practice with cutting. So if this is hard for you, that is okay.
All right. Now I need to take my scraps and throw them in the trash can. Don't just throw them on the ground. You need to throw them in the trash. All right, now I have my sign in my yellow paper. I'm gonna turn my sign over, get out my glue stick, and now I'm gonna glue along the edges. Really make sure you get right along those edges. Now I'm gonna add a little glue in the middle too to make sure it sticks. All right. My Quiet Zone sign is finished. Now, if you wanted to, you could draw on the yellow part if you want to. It's up to you. This is your Quiet Zone sign. Be creative. We can't wait to see what you come up with. When you're all finished with your Quiet Zone sign, just like Spot did in our story, you can hang it up in your workspace. There's Spot's. Figure out where your workspace is going to be at your house and hang up your Quiet Zone sign in your workspace. Once you have it all finished and hanging up, maybe you can have your parents take a picture and share it with your teacher. We would love to see your quiet zone signs.